Event organisers call it Noose's version of a fun run, the dress code making for a pink spectacle. On Sunday morning at 7.30, breast cancer supporters took to the water and paddled around the Noose Sound, all in the name of research. A lot of the time, especially with breast cancer, you know, we all know somebody or have had somebody that uh, we've lost. Uh, you know, there's a lot of personal contact with it, I think. Uh, I think it's uh, one in eight women are affected by breast cancer. So, you know, it's pretty hard not to experience it throughout your life. And uh, I think if we can do things like this and fund that research, then it's gonna make it possible that our future generations don't have to experience the loss that we've gone through. Entries were $25 per person and stand-ups, canoes and even flamingos were all welcome. The sea of paddlers outfitted in flamboyant costumes showed the true colours of the event. At the first year I actually discovered that there were lots and lots and lots of shades of pink so I went as 50 shades of pink and that was a winner. <laughs> Some costumes even coming with their own soundtrack. 500 paddlers were registered for today's event with 100% of the proceeds going to the National Breast Cancer Foundation. For some, like Dragons Abreast, the day has a personal connection. We're all breast cancer survivors and this day is a very special day for us all because um, it's um, supporting breast cancer awareness and um, it's nice to get the community involved as well. Those who didn't paddle stood on the sidelines cheering and expressing their gratitude. Thanks for coming! <laughs> Laura Leith Pettigrew, USC News.